everyone. Happy day after Thanksgiving. Happy Black Friday. Uh, I am personally not braving the crowds today. I will be doing all of my Black Friday shopping online. I'm probably waiting till Cyber Monday to do it. So anyway, lots to talk about. Let's dive in. I'm going to start off with all of my non-beauty favorites and end with the beauty stuff. So if you'd like to skip ahead to the beauty stuff, click on some kind of box. It's going to pop up here and you can get to that part of the video. For those of you that want to hear about all the things I'm interested in this week, thanks for watching. This week, this month, thanks for sticking around and here we go. First, I'd like to start off with two bloggers. I've mentioned them before, but I don't think they get enough love and I don't mention them enough, so I'm gonna mention them again. The first one is a blog called Because Shanna Said So. Shanna and I were roommates at a conference that we went to in April. I'd been a fan of hers long before then and a follower. She is a mom in the Austin area. She's a beautiful woman and she is a fashion blogger. And what I really like about her is that her clothes are wearable and her clothes are affordable. She shops at Forever 21 and Target and Gap and Old Navy and you know places that normal people buy clothes. I love reading the editorial fashion blogs, don't get me wrong, but when I want to have um, inspiration for how to put my clothes together, I look to people like Shanna. So um, I will link her blog in the description box below and uh, go check her out if you haven't already. I really, really like her stuff. The next one is another blog called Honey, We're Home. Okay. But the part about her blog that I like the most about Honey, We're Home is the home aspect, the decorating, the organizing. Her, she lives in Houston, so shout out to my Texan bloggers, yay! Um, but her home is drop dead gorgeous. The way she puts it together is beautiful and most, again, most of the pieces and the things that she does are, are in the affordable range. I mean, obviously anything that you do in your home is going to be more expensive than buying a little bit of makeup, but, um, you know, she does all the painting herself. She chooses pieces from places like World Market, Pier One, very attainable, um, reasonably priced items. And I just, I love her aesthetic and I, the way her house is designed and decorated is just totally my taste. If I had to gut my house and start all over, I'd make it look like that. Um, TV shows. There are two TV shows that I want to talk about and I don't watch, I, I do watch some TV here and there, um, not as much as I'd like. There's just not enough time between reading and watching YouTube videos and having a life. But the two that I watch um, a lot, one is an old one that I've been catching up with on Netflix and it's called Undercover Boss and I'm just a huge sucker and every time I watch it I fall like a baby at the end. I just love the concept of kind of learning about the, I love the behind the scenes part. Like I love when I've been able to go on photo shoots or um, TV sets and things like that. My favorite part has always been to see what goes on behind the scenes. It just fascinates me. And Undercover Boss is definitely a behind the scenes look at all different kinds of businesses. And at the end, they give stuff away to the employees and I just cry, it's, I love it. And then the other uh, TV show that I'm really enjoying and it's brand new this year is called Blackish. And my husband and I love it. It is freaking hysterical. The writers are geniuses. And it's on the same, it's on, I'm blanking, is it ABC? It's on like right before Modern Family. It's just, it's, love it. It's about a um, African-American family that lives, I think it's like Beverly Hills or some wealthy Southern California, LA area. And just the family dynamics and it's, it's hilarious hilarious. First episode, they had a bro mitzvah instead of a bar mitzvah. I just, I loved it. Okay. Let's get to skincare. My skin has been having a rough month or so, and um, it's because I've been playing with a lot of new products. And to exacerbate it, I pick sometimes at things that I shouldn't pick at. And so my skin's been in big time recovery mode this month. We're definitely back on track. And I just wanted to share with you some of the products I use to get me back to where I need to be. Um, this one is the Colleen Rothschild Dual Enzyme Polish. I'm not going to go into a whole big review, but basically I've used a lot of this guy up. It's a fruity kind of grainy paste. You, you wash your face first, you, get, you keep your face damp, you put this on all over it, you let it set for about five minutes, three to five minutes, let those little fruit enzymes work away at the dead and dry skin, and then you dampen your fingers again and kind of moisten your face and get it wet and scrub it in. It gets a little, has little granules in it, so there is some physical exfoliation in there as well. Your face feels smooth and fresh and glowy. I believe it recommends to do this several times a week. I probably only do it 
It says one or two times a week. I do it once a week. That's all I need. And when I do that, well, I've been doing it in the nights that I'm not doing it, but after I do that, I never apply a serum after like retinol or anything like that. I go right to moisturizing and what, it's a double thing that I've been doing. The Colleen Rothschild Extreme Recovery Cream. I'm almost out of this as well. I will be placing an order, maybe even today, I'm thinking there's going to be a sale and I am placing a big order with Colleen Rothschild. It's a very thick um, moisturizer, about a pea size amount is what I use. I warm it up between my hands first to emulsify it a little better and then I put it all over my face and then I top it. I know this is gonna sound like a lot of moisturizing going on, but between the scrubbing and the heat and everything, I top it off with a pump of the Colleen Rothschild face oil, number nine, I believe it is. This is my second or third jar of it. I love this stuff. Kind of seals it all in, and I wake up and my face is just, there's something magical about this. I don't know what it is. I even think it heals pimples. I don't know. I, I, I doubt that that is one of the listed <laughs> properties, but it it's a miracle in a, in a bottle. I don't know what it does. And then once or twice a week in on the nights when I'm not doing all that, I will wash my face like usual and then I will slap on the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud. This stuff is unbelievable. By far my favorite of all of the Glam Glow products. I've used a healthy amount of that as well. What I do is I put a thin layer all over with my foundation brush and I go to sleep with it on. And then I wash my face in the morning and it's amazing. And in the instructions, it does recommend using this on flights as well, long, long flights. So love, love, love this stuff. Okay, a couple more non-beauty things. Let's talk about hair. New hair product for me is the Dove Volume Dry Shampoo. I ran out of my beloved Suave. I ran, I ran out of everything, basically. And um, this stuff, just I wanted to try something different. And I like it even better than the Suave. This is great. That's how I use it. And I it doesn't leave my hair crunchy. It instantly absorbs. Okay, now my hair is looking a little cuckoo. Um, it instantly <laughs> absorbs any oil. It's very workable. Still leaves my hair shiny. It has a nice fresh scent. It's not a, like too fruity or florally. It's just fresh. Last thing I want to talk about, it's gotten a lot of uh, attention in the comments of my videos, are earrings. Um, Bobblevar sent me a little present for the holidays and it's their play by ear collection. And it looks like that. I, I uh, put a, I showed it on Instagram and it's all these earrings, all these earrings that you can wear just as they are in the box. Like this is how they came in the box. Or you can take them and mix them and match them. And I just want to show you, they come in this fun case that closes magnetically and it comes with a book that shows you like all the different options of how to mix and match them, which has been really fun. And um, the one set of earrings that got a lot of attention, I just want to show you how they work. They are these pearl earrings. And the, so the front is just the little baby pearl. Well, it's not a real pearl, we all know that, on a post. And then the backing has the pearl attached to it. So it looks like it's hanging from under your ear. People thought, I don't know what they thought. Somebody thought I put my earrings on backwards, but it, they're really fun and they were a little out of my comfort zone. I've been having a, a blast wearing them and mixing them up. It came with an ear cuff. I wore it to dinner the other night and completely freaked my husband out. He thought I actually went and got my ear thingy pierced up here, but it was fun. Anyway, that's that. My oldest son is uh, uh, plays for his high school football team. He's on JV, but the varsity team is on its way to the state championships. They are in the third or fourth round of the playoffs. So there's been a lot of football going on this month. And that means a lot of sitting in the stands. And the purse that I've been bringing to all of these events and to other things as well is this little guy. My husband went to San Francisco last month and asked me what I wanted as a souvenir. And I jokingly sent him a link to this mulberry purse because San Francisco, I think, might have the largest mulberry store outside of like Abu Dhabi or something. So he, amazing husband that he is, actually bought it. I was kind of in shock. This is the small Effie bag. I got it in this uh, brown kind of saddle leather because it's, I think, very neutral and goes with brown, black, and everything in between. It has a nice little braided handle. It has, it can be worn on the shoulder. I like to wear it across body. It's a little shorter that way, but I feel like it's a little more secure in a crowd when it's closer to my uh, waist hip area than down farther on my leg. And then the inside, I'm not going to go through a whole what's in my bag purse, purse, huh? What's in my purse video, but it can hold an amazing amount. It has an inside zipper and then it secures with this magnetic 
um, snap that I can't get to shut and then voila. So this has been just my favorite purse for November. It's been getting a lot of use and will continue to get more use as we go on to play in the next round tomorrow. So yay, go Rattlers. Okay, now onto the makeup, that is enough. So picked up a few things at the Sephora VIB sale. Um, some things have definitely made it to the favorites already. One of those being the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers. At the sale, I picked up Chantilly for under my eyes because it's very light, and I loved it so much the next day I went back online and ordered it in vanilla because this shade matches my face. I think it is a big fat lie calling these creamy. I do not think they are creamy at all. They actually are a bit dry. They, they dry they're not creamy. They, creamy is like the Clarins Instant Concealer. That's creamy. These are drier, but they are so pigmented, and once you put them on your face and set them with your finger or a brush, these suckers don't budge. They are all day coverage and very lightweight in texture, but heavy duty concealing. So these are definitely worth, I mean, unless they come out with something new that's even better, these will be my go-to concealers forever. Um, also in the sale, I picked up NARS Madly. I've talked about this in my blush video. I'm wearing it today, I'm looking a little orange on camera. I don't know how that's coming across in the actual video, but I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I'm, this, this is great because I feel like this is a year-round, easy-to-wear kind of blush. So I love that. Also, a couple other high-end things I picked up finally. Bit the bullet and picked up the Anastasia um, Dip Brow Pomade. I got mine in blonde. I've been at it, as you can see. A bunch of you noticed because I've been getting a lot of comments that you like my eyebrows. I have to say this is very idiot proof. You just pay, basically paint on your eyebrows. It's, it's easier, I think, than even a pencil. And I'm really enjoying it. And then Ulta was having a sale and I picked up the Stila in the Moment palette. These are getting discontinued, so if you can get your hands on these. I've had the In the Light palette for years and years and years, and I'm not even close to hitting pan. This one is neutrals on the bottom and purples on the top, because it goes like that normally. And today I am wearing every single one of these colors except this one on the, from the bottom row. It also comes with a great eyeliner that is in, in my... Uh, eyeliner drawer right now, but I love these Stila palettes and I'm really annoyed that they're discontinuing them and replacing them with what I think is absolute crap. Um, okay, what's left? Drugstore stuff, real quickly. Um, the L'Oreal Infallible Crayon, I'm really digging this. I have this on as like my primer, basically, and this is a beautiful rose gold color that it can easily be worn by itself. This one is Enduring Rose, hence the name rose gold color. Look at that. So pretty, so easy to blend also. There it is, blended. And um, I haven't had any creasing or any problems with that. I really like this. I like it better than my Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks. I mentioned these in a haul, I think recently, my drugstore haul, but again, the two Physicians Formula, there's actually a third palette as well that's matte, but these are the two that I have. There you go. And um, I just think everyone should have this in their collection. You have warm set, you have a cool set, this would easily replace your Naked Basics 1 and 2, I think, and are just, I used it today. Um, they're very pigmented. I used the brow bone color right here. And um, they're, they're just, they're fabulous. Let's talk lipsticks, and then we're done talking. Let's talk about that. So I did my drugstore haul, and y'all, not all of you, but many of you recommended to get the Revlon Cherries in the Snow for that perfect red pink color and while I've only had it two days I no four days I had to put it in my favorites because this is amazing you guys were spot on this is exactly the color I was looking for and how cool is it that it's a drugstore lipstick there it is in the tube I just love it this is exactly I'm, I'm so happy so so happy I actually have the nail polish and I never bothered to look and get the lipstick might be getting the nail polish back out. I think it would be a great holiday color. And then lastly, this is a permanent collection also, so I don't feel like you have to run out and grab it right now, but it's the Mayb from the Maybelline Matte Collection, and this is Lust for Blush. And if you want to um, branch out into mattes and you're a little afraid, get this one. It's just one of those very wearable colors. It reminds me a lot of their, um, is it Born With It shade, or Make Me Pink, one of those, but it's in a matte version. And what I love about the mattes is if the matte part you don't like so much, you can always slap some gloss on and now you've got a non-matte lip. So that is it 
for all of my November favorites. I feel like that was a lot. I feel like this month has flown by. I didn't get to do my November face of the month. I didn't get to do my November throwback Thursday. I don't know where the month went. I may just sneak those in during Vlogmas as like an, as a video instead of Vlogmas day whatever. I'll do and throw in some extra beauty videos in there for the month of December. So stay tuned. Next time you see me, it'll be the first day of Vlogmas. I'm very excited. I've never done this before, so bear with me. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know what your favorites were this month, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. And I am having a really good hair day. <laughs> this is so shallow. But I wanted to document it because it so rarely happens, and I just washed my hair.